Shalom Aleichem, my dear friends. Peace be with you. I am your brother Mario Joseph from Philokalia with the Lenten Reflection of 2021. Last few episodes, we are preparing ourselves to make a good confession this year. So let me read a Bible word today for you. That is from the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verses 22 to 23. The book of Sirach, chapter 18, verses 22 and 23. Let nothing hinders you from paying a vow promptly. And do not wait until death to be released from it. Before making a vow, prepare yourself and do not be like a man who tempts the Lord. Very often we have a tendency to promise something to the Lord, to make a vow to the Lord. Very many of us have the tendency to make a vow to the Lord for the personal gain. For example, I need some financial blessing or marriage blessing or children or a house or an apartment or a good job. Then I will say, if God give me this, then I will do this to the Lord. But when you get all the blessing, you forget the promise what you have given to the Lord. And that can bring a bad consequences. Sometimes we make a promise to the family. We say, if God blesses the family, I will do this as a family. Sometimes we say, if God blesses my nation, then the entire nation will do this to the family. And if you break that promise, that can bring a harm to you and to me. That's why Bible says, be careful. Let me read an example from the book of Genesis chapter 28 verses 18 to 22. The book of Genesis chapter 28 verses 18 to 22. So Jacob rose early in the morning and he took the stone which he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on the top of it. He called the name of that place Bethel. But the name of that city was loose at the first. When Jacob made a vow saying, then Jacob made a vow saying, if God will be with me and will keep me in the way that I go and will give me bread to eat and clothes to wear so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God and the stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that thou gives me, I will give thee tenth to thee. So here the Jacob early morning woke and he kept the pillar there and he poured the oil on there and he says, if God will be with me, if God blesses me with all the material blessing like cloth and food and shelter, everything, and if God brings me back to my father's house peacefully, then I will give one tenth of whatever he gives to me. That was the promise of Jacob. If Jacob break the promise, then there will be difficulty. And you know what all things happen when you continuously read the Bible. So my brothers and sisters, I want to tell you one thing. If you ever make a vow to the Lord and if you could not fulfill that, the first thing, go and make a good confession and then fulfill that vow as early as possible. Because uh, Psalms chapter 50 verses 14 says like this, the book of Psalms chapter 50 verses 14 says like this, offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vow to the Most High. It is a commandment from the Lord and pay your vow to the Most High. If you ever make a vow, it is your duty to pray. Otherwise, that is a sin and that can harm your personal life. I will tell you one of my experience, my brothers and sisters, years before one family came to meet me with small children, they came, they said, they have a desire to go and settle down in Europe. And I asked which country they said they love to go and settle down in Vienna. And they were doing all the paperwork. Then they said, just like a Jacob, we give a promise to the Lord. I didn't ask, but they said to me, Brother Mario, we give a promise to the Lord. If we both get a job, our one tenth will be for the mission work wherever we are. And they promised that. And immediately, you know, I mean, within few days, they got the visa and every paperwork was done. And they both settled down in Vienna. And they invited me once to be in Vienna. And I went there. They were doing very happily. Lately, once again, they contacted me. You know what happened? Husband fall in love with another lady and he's uh, living with that lady and the wife is denied by him and children are scattered and they became alcoholic and drug addicts and they are also, you know, with all illegal activities and the entire family is scattered. So while I was talking to that lady, she said, we promised to the Lord we will give one tenth, but within few months, we were, we were in need of a lot of money in the sense we want to buy a house here, we want to buy a big car here, we want to support our family members. We forgot the promise what we have given to the Lord. Then I said that is the real problem. Now at least you 
the lady who spoke to me i said at least you keep the promise and give the one tenth then she said i have burden and i said whatever it may be try to keep try to give the one tenth to the lord since you promised if you never promised that then there is no problem why did you give that vow to the lord now you have to keep the vow because it is written there in the bible once again let me read it for you my brothers and sisters sirat the book of sirat chapter 18 verses 22 23 says let nothing hinder you from paying vow promptly and do not wait until that to be released before making a vow prepare yourself and do not be like a man who tempts the lord so before making any vow to the lord prepare yourself just check whether you will be able to fulfill this promise or no whether you will be able to pay this vow or no it's a lifetime promise or one time promise think and if you promise you must do it otherwise it can bring a bad consequences in our life Now when I am talking like this do not think that our lord is not merciful our god is merciful and kind nothing to worry even if you make a promise and if you break it you say sorry to the lord prepare yourself for a proper confession and confess and if it is possible for you to pay the vow as early as possible go and pay that so let it be your confession of today in this land Before ending this session I want to tell you something very important my brothers and sisters due to covid and other problems many missionaries are suffering all over the world and we the philokalia team used to support many missionaries in many ways especially the people like me those who came to our faith and suffer and today I am struggling to support them in many ways because we are also suffering the team also and i humbly request you if you can be part of our mission in any way please use this account if you are within india use this charitable account if you are out if you are from outside india use this account definitely god will bless you because there is a promise from the lord woe to me if i do not preach good news and how beautiful are the feet of those who preach good news If you cannot preach and if you are unable to preach at least to support the missionaries those who are doing this work we philokalia team assure our prayers to you my brothers and sisters may almighty god bless you and peace be with you